Okay, so now we're back to our, uh, pro oops, our protocol where we have a prover and a verifier, and the prover wants to, you know, tell the same thing, approve the execution of some program. And that program is um, defined with this polynomial F, uh, which is the polynomial L. Maybe I'll write it with X's like that. It's clear that these are polynomials. Uh, L of X times QL of X plus R of X times QR of X plus uh, QC. Oh, I'll start with the output actually. O of X times QO of X plus QC of X plus, um, oh yeah, L of X times R of X times uh, QM of X. And this polynomial, if, um, if filled correctly, so if the L, R, O um, polynomials are set up correctly or constructed correctly by the prover, then this thing will be dividable by this vanishing polynomial. Uh, so we'll be of the form z of h times x times uh, some quotient polynomial, where z of h uh, of x is the, um, the polynomial of, uh, that, that has the domain h, uh, you know, equals 1, 2, 3, etc., uh, as roots. So you can write it, you know, as... Uh, 1 minus x times 2 minus x uh, times 3 minus x, etc. So that's what we've seen previously. And we've also seen previously that these QLs, these selector polynomials, uh, correctly describe the circuit. So they're known both to the prover and the verifier. So previously, the prover just sent uh, L, R, and O, like these polynomials, or, or the evaluation of these polynomials at some point. But they could kind of cheat, and because they knew what was the evaluation point, that random point that the verifier sent, they could form uh, L and R and O to, to have, for example, this uh, point as a root or something like that, uh, so that they could verify um, this equation at some random point z. So we didn't want that, so we, but we're going to change, and we're going to change the protocol now, and we're going to have the prover commit to these polynomials before they actually know what the 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 evaluation point the, the random point is in the protocol and this is very similar to a lot of different zero knowledge proof protocols where uh, you have this kind of uh, these sigma protocols actually uh, where you you all always have the prover commit to something then the verifier send a challenge and then the prover doing something on that challenge uh, with the commitments so anyway here uh, the prover is going to send the commitment to uh, l and the commitment to r and the commitment to uh, O, um, all the witness polynomials. The witness meaning here that they need to remain private. And, and what's going to happen here is that the verifier is going to send a, a random evaluation, evaluation point Z, and then the prover is going to send uh, L of Z, R of Z, O of Z, and also uh, proofs, uh, or, or as I called them before, evaluation proofs. So that, that was in the previous video. Uh, you, I, I, I taught you how that worked, and basically you can just verify these evaluation proofs, and you know that these are indeed the evaluation of this polynomial and the, the point Z. Cool, and so that's pretty much the protocol. That's that's it. You know that. Uh, imagine that you're the verifier. You have everything to check that uh, that uh, you you can reconstruct f of z via uh, you know the evaluation that you just received. Oops, uh, this one, sorry. And uh, the evaluation of this polynomial at z, which you which you know, uh, you can compute yourself. And then you can compute uh, z h at z because that's your polynomial, and you know again z is your challenge. Uh, and oh, and no, you need t of z, right? So actually, I forgot here, but you also uh, the prover also sends a uh, commitment to t. Um, and uh, here, I guess they'll send t of z. Good. 
because you need you need that as well and the existence uh, of this thing here really means that uh, eventually means that this polynomial is dividable by this polynomial which means that this polynomial vanishes um, in all the points in the domain which means that this correctly represents all the equations um, the constraints and and the constraints are working in every equation equation one equation two equation three hopefully this all ties in together and this all makes sense um, and and you can appreciate the beauty of of, of uh, this plong protocol um, that we just created I'm going to leave it as this for this video, but know that um, there are more things that I haven't talked about that I need to talk about in in, uh, in future videos. But basically, I still haven't talked about copy constraints, um, which is uh, the, 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 the wiring, I guess, in our circuit. And you can refer to the previous videos to, to understand what it is. Um, this this is solved by the permutation argument, which is basically another proof that we need to send. So so we need to send another proof. I haven't talked about uh, zero knowledgeness that much. In uh, and, and basically because we're sending evaluation of uh, these polynomial, polynomials. Uh, we're kind of leaking things, and so we need to blind these polynomials before sending the evaluations. Um, so that's something I need to explain. I haven't really explained uh, the optimization, optimizations of uh, the Plong paper. So in the Plong paper, um, they have a number of optimizations uh, which which make this circuit much more. Uh, I mean, this protocol much harder to read in the paper. Um, but transforms it into just a series of points uh, of evaluation proof that you have to open. In, so in the final protocol, there is no, there is no uh, final check that you need to check. You just need to check a bunch of evaluation proofs, mm -hmm. and that's something you can explain. And I think that's, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, and, and I guess, okay, something else that I haven't explained also is uh, these evolution proofs are all separate, but there's a way to, to optimize that. So it's also in the optimization section. Uh, you can you can aggregate, aggregate evaluation proofs. Um, and so the interesting, the interesting thing is that you can aggregate these evaluation proofs um, in the sense that you can aggregate several polynomials being opened at one point but you can also aggregate several polynomials being opened or being evaluated at different points uh, and there is also a batch uh, optimization which allow you to to check a bunch of opening proofs uh, also faster to, to batch them on the verifier side but anyway i'm going to stop here uh, and I'll, I'll think about what i can explain next but obviously really obviously um, the, the copy constraints I think is the is the the, the obvious thing to learn uh, next because that's one uh, the other half of the the plong paper.